Number 10. A piece of unknown substance weighs 44.7 grams and requires 2,110 joules to increase its temperature from 23.2 degrees Celsius to 89.6 degrees Celsius. And then letter A, what is the specific heat of the substance? Okay, so with word problems, let's just list everything that they gave us, right? So I'm just gonna read it over again and I'm just going to write down all the units that they told us as I go along. So the first thing they say, right? They say a piece of unknown substance weighs 44.7 grams. G is a gram value, right? And gram is a mass. So technically I have an M here, M for mass, and they told us that this is 44.7 grams. Now maybe I should just preface this by saying that this is all for letter A. Okay, they told us that it requires 2,110 joules, right? And a joule value is a unit for heat, right? Could be some other things, but in this case, right, they're saying that it's just requiring some amount of heat energy, right, to increase the temp, right? So this would be a Q value. Q is in a unit of joules. So I have a Q value, 2,110 joules. And it looks like we're changing a temp. Specifically, we're increasing the temp, but it's a change in temp. And we're starting at 23.2 degrees Celsius, and we're going to... 89.6 degrees Celsius. So I have two different temps here. I have a start and I have an end. Technically, I have a final and an initial, right? Or initial and a final. The 23.2 is a initial temp. I will write it as TI, right? 23.2 degrees Celsius. And my final temp, the thing that I'm reaching it to, is 89.6. So I'm going to call that TF. So TF equals 89.6 degrees Celsius. Now, for letter A, they're asking for what's the specific heat. Now, you might know the specific heat as a different letter than me, but usually when I do specific heat, I say specific heat S for S. So I'm going to say that I don't know an S value. I'm going to label that as X. However, you might know specific heat as lowercase c, and that's exactly, you know, that's that's... That's fine too. Just say C equals, you know, question mark or C equals X. So now you run through all of your formulas that you've learned up, up, until, up until thus far, right, in your chem course that has to do with a, a mass, a heat, some temperatures, and an S value or a C value. And in this case, it's this equation, which I will just move over here, right? It's Q equals MS delta T, or it could be Q equals MC delta T. Either one is okay with me. I don't care. It's the same thing. I'm going to use S though. So the Q, just like we said, is the heat. And if we're using this formula, it has to be in joules. The M is in mass. And if I'm using this formula, it has to be in grams. The S is the specific heat. And the specific heat is for a specific uh, element, substance, compound, or molecule, right? The specific heat is in joules per gram times degrees Celsius. And then the delta T, that's what this triangle means. Delta means just a change. This is the change in the temp. And delta Ts are always in degrees Celsius. You do not need to convert to Kelvin here. So the first thing I have to do is I, I have initial temps and I have a final temp. I have to convert it into a delta T, right? So there's a secret formula inside the formula. Delta T is always final temp minus initial temp. So it's TF minus TI. So final minus initial. Let's figure it out. Delta T equals the final was 89.6 minus 23.2. I don't put in my units when I'm doing actual calculations because I just check to see if I have the correct unit. And then once I know I do, I, I don't have to plug in the units. So 89.6 minus 23.2, I get a delta T. So the change in temp is 66.4 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I'm solving for S, which means that I should know the Q, M, and I found out the delta T. So let's go for it. The Q, and it's in the correct unit, it has to be in joules, so 2,000. 110 
equals the mass, that's in the correct unit, so I could just write that down, 44.7. I'm solving for x, right? So I'm solving for s. I like to just plug it in as x. It's just a habit. You could put in whatever number, you, whatever letter you like. And then the delta t was the 66.4. Okay. Let's just do a little algebra here. I'm going to multiply the 44.7 times the 66.4. And I get 2968.08. And that's being multiplied by x. I want to get the number to the other side. I want to get x by itself. So I will divide by 2968.08. And I got to do it to both sides. That cancels out. So now I'm left with X, which was really S, my specific heat. So 2,110 divided by that answer. And technically I need three sig figs if I'm playing the sig fig game. I have the least number of three sig figs. So 0 0.711. And that's in the specific heat units of joules per gram Celsius. So that's the answer for letter A, the specific heat Actually, let's do this in yellow. I think yellow doesn't contrast it. So the specific heat for this substance is 0 0.711 uh, joules per gram Celsius. So that's the answer for A. Now, for letter B, it says if one of the substances found on table 5.1, right? If this is one of the substances found on table 5.1, what is the identity? Now, just know that you can find an identity of a substance by only the specific heat, because the specific heat values are specific, hence why it's called the specific heat. They're specific for the actual identity of the substance, whether it's a compound, uh, compound element or a molecule. So I'm going to look on my chart for a 0.711 or closely to that, right? And here is that table 5.1 that they were showing. I'm just going to look down, right? And I see that I have silicon being the closest match. Right? The specific heat is 0 0.712, mine is 0 0.711, so what's the identity of the substance? It's silicon, or SI, and that's a solid, so it's in the solid state. And that's the answer for me. That's it. Guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. This guy is checked off. We did A and B, and yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, give this video a like. Uh, press the thumbs up button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would help us out too. Really hope that we're giving you, uh, you know, the best possible way of learning chemistry. We also have physics videos and math videos. If you guys are in those subjects, or if you have friends in those subjects, let them know, let them know about us. We wouldn't mind. All right. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.